Impacting student success by adopting courseware depends on a good fit between the course needs and the product capabilities, as well as a strong relationship with the courseware vendor. National Lewis University and their vendor partner Acrobatic shared some tips with us about how to find the right partnership. Yeah, so if you're using an adaptive provider's content, so you're not building inside of an adaptive platform, but you're using existing content, it's really important to make sure that there is a variety of content in there because training takes time, onboarding takes time, integration takes time, assessment, and then evaluation for improvement. And it's likely if you use an adaptive provider for one course or for one discipline, if it's working out well, you're gonna to wanna to be using them for multiple disciplines. And so whenever you're looking at a provider, think beyond one particular class or one particular discipline and think about either your university or your program as a whole and see the areas that their content can address. Uh, another thing that I would say is really think through what you want the user experience to be because there's a lot of levels of adaptivity inside of these different tools. Some of them are adaptive at one point in a module and some of them are adaptive with literally every click and every answer that a student might give, whether it's a practice or it's an assessment. And so really think through the level of adaptability that you want. The quality of the relationship with the vendor can be as important as the quality of the product. Um, I love when I hear um, people say, I know this is going to be hard, and I know, therefore, it's going to be a lot harder than I actually think it's going to be. I know that. <laughs> um, uh, and so talk to me about um, what has to be in place for this to be successful. Are there some things that are just absolutely must-haves, and if we don't have them, we probably shouldn't go into this. So really defining the kind of absolutely critical keys to success um, and, and doing that at a granular level. So, you know, it's not just um, when someone says, well, uh, do I need to have instructional designers uh, or at least an instructional design capacity that I can tap into even if it's external? And I say, yeah, you do. Uh, uh, but if a customer stops there, it's sort of, eh, no, you're not, are you really thinking about this hard yet? But when they start to ask, okay, and what's the role of the instructional designer with you? And how do you expect them to interact with our faculty? Because we've got a, a way that that's evolved over time, and that may not be the way that it's going to work here. So talk to us about what that role entails, um, uh, who, what the interactions are going to look like. Um, can you help us start to understand what some of the costs associated with that might be? How many hours are they going to spend? Um, so when people start to ask really um, good questions about uh, implementation and challenges and uh, success factors in implementation, um, then I start to feel like this has a chance to be highly successful. We were actually using Acrobatic differently than a lot of institutions. A lot of institutions were using an entire course package the way it was built. We were not. We were picking and choosing the pieces that fit with our course level objectives and our program level objectives. But because we had signature assignments as well, and it was a blended classroom, and there was going to be live direct instruction, uh, we, were, we were not using the product the same as everyone else. And that was a little bit of a challenge for Acrobatic and for us as well to kind of figure that out. There's no solution that one's going to pull off the shelf, drop in place, and say, great, it does everything we need to do. So you've, you've really got to be highly responsive, right? And the, the, the needs that they're expressing on the ground um, are, are uh, uh, coming from a, a deep well of knowledge. And, uh, and so when they say, we need um, you know, the, the dashboard card that says this, um, to be a little bit different. We need to be able to look at, um, hey, when we sit down with a student, we don't want to look at a student in a class. We want to see a student across all classes. And if we don't have that view, um, it becomes really essential for us to support their mission to create that view. So, so there's kind of you know, direct engagement management of the relationship issues, but there's, there's also lots of product findings along the way um, that we have to um, uh, listen to and, um, and, and develop for uh, if we're going to help them be successful.